POPULAR STATE PARK AT THE OREGON COAST IS NOW CLOSED INDEFINITELY BECAUSE OF AN ACTIVE LANDSLIDE. AND THERE'S NO WORD YET ON WHEN ECOLA STATE PARK NEAR CANNON BEACH WILL REOPEN. AMY FRAZIER LIVE IN CANNON BEACH TONIGHT WITH A CLOSER LOOK AT WHAT'S HAPPENING NOW. AMY? Jeff, visitors hoping to do some hiking were pretty disappointed to see this closed sign. Today, park rangers took us inside the park to see some of the safety concerns. Inside Ecola State Park near Cannon Beach. The hillside's been moving here for thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of years. There's an active known landslide that's really on the move right now with all the rain. As the moisture falls from the sky and, and permeates the ground and moves through uh, the soil and rocks and the, the entire hillside is kind of slowly on the march, those things sort of go hand in hand with one another and entire sections of the hill sort of creep out. And, and down. Two weeks ago, rangers started noticing problems with the hillside road, including a sinkhole. Which was actually a culvert that had separated as a result of the land sliding and pulling it apart. Crews made repairs. And then uh, just over the last few days, it's, it's dropped out on us again. On Sunday, visitors were having a tough time getting around the trouble spots. For safety reasons, rangers decided to close the park. Since then, they've also discovered landslide related problems below the road on the Crescent Beach Trail. As you can see, uh, this tree got uprooted. Some of the trail is also gone, dropping to the beach below. Yeah, qu quite amazing. It's just amazing how much you don't think, you know, what you see up on the roadway, it's only a few inches, but when it comes down here, it's just it's just huge. As for what's next here, park officials say they need things to dry out a bit. Then they may add horizontal drains underneath the roadway to see if that helps stabilize things. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do as humans uh, to stop the, the mountain moving. So it's all about mitigating what's here. It's a temporary fix for a long term problem that we're that we're going to have to re-strategize. And parks officials tell me they hope to get things figured out within the next few weeks. We'll keep you posted. Reporting live in Cannon Beach, Amy Frazier, Coin Six News. And I got it.